Now we begin tonight from the Amasya South District of the Ashanti region where youth from various communities stormed the premises of Asankumai to petition the company over the Social Responsibility Fund, employment and other issues of concern. According to the youth, the company promised to fund corporate social responsibility projects across the communities but failed to honor its promise. They're also claiming the mining company has not fulfilled its commitment to employ 60% of the youth and construct major roads in the area. Mohammed Nuruddin starts us off. The residents took their concerns to the premises of Asanko Mines. According to them, four years have passed since Asanko Mines broke its pledge. Peter Aware is a youth leader of the communities. Two dollars per house. As I first started operation in 2017, the agreement was signed and sealed in 2017. That up to now that we are talking, we have not received not even a password from a sample board man. Due to this, we sent our petition to Kumate High Court, court in rude in favor of the community, that a sample people to release the money into our cars and the signatures. It should be Communities, one from the assembly, one from the assembly, and one from the Nano. The court or the church went ahead to state that. It's almost three months now since we went to court. As I'm talking to you, Ryan, we don't even know where about the money. So, right now, what we are doing that we are, we are showing our displeasure and our Sanko gold for them to give us the money that is belonging to the communities, the 23 communities that is in the catchment area. And we are giving them the three, three weeks of tomato because we need the money for our development. As you are talking, looking at the, the contract, we have the employment contract. That is, they have to give 60% of employment to the local, to local people. They are not doing that. Secondly, they have to reshape our roads every three months, even though at least quarter, Every quarter of the year, let's say four months, and they are not doing it. Even those who are working here are not permanent. All of them are casual workers. Their service or condition is not good at all. The youth also say the company has denied them opportunity to visit their farms, leaving them financially stranded. So the niche one no abo. Ah, as I said, I'm the one who made the ashi was wearing yeye. I'm the one who called him, called him, called him yeye. So now yeye bibili. Oka, oba ni abeche, ni abo, ni ase u ni ama. We have won a dawa. Ni ayan basa. I'm the one who just kept him on the ground. It is granted youth petition the mining company to have their concerns addressed. Head of Security, Health and Safety at Asanko Mines, Nana Amwako says management will look into their concerns and respond. My, my name is Nana Amwako. I'm the Head of Security, Health and Safety. So what I want to say is that I'm standing in for the general manager. I've received a petition and then we are going to discuss it and effectively we will reply them accordingly and timelessly. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, District Chief Executive for Amansi South District, Clement Opoku Jemfi, who also received a petition from the youth, promised to direct their concerns to the Ashanti Regional Minister. So I received a petition. I will forward it to the Regional Minister's office. And the next step, I will let you guys That's know. what I can do to forward it to the Regional Minister, let him know that this is what is happening. Right. Um, I've already informed him about the current happening here, the demonstration. So forwarding the document to him will be yes um, to officially inform him so he got to know and um, he being a man of wisdom i know what steps he will take will be to um, uh, mitigate the, um, the situation. A report by mohammed nuruddin